at the 2014 Zhuhai Air Show. China shocked the world by displaying a mock-up of a supersonic anti-ship cruise missile designated CX-1. It had the exact same appearance as Yakon and Brahmos missile. It should be noted that in order to create a balance in the region, Russia saw China exclusively the P-270 Moskit missile without agreeing to supply the P-800 Jarkon, and then cooperated with India to build a version of the PJ-10 Brahmos, which is a copy of the Jarkon. When the CX-1 missile was introduced by China and appeared at the exhibition, and the PJ-10 Brahmos missile was also there. This made India extremely angry when it said that it had been surpassed by Russia. Before India's reaction, Mr. Vasily Kashin, an expert at the Center for Analysis of Strategy and Technology, based in Moscow, had to immediately explain to reinsure their number one partner. According to Kashin, China's CX-1 is only partly based on the Jarkon anti-ship missile, and he asserted, Russia does not sell this missile to China or provide enough technical data for China to build. That may reinsure India somewhat, but it is unlikely that New Delhi's potential partners who intend to order Brahmos missiles feel secure. India customers fear that Beijing has somehow stolen the technology of the Jarkon missile, making the advantage of secrecy in the technical performance of this weapon no longer available. China even announced that the CX-1 would be the main weapon for the most powerful destroyers of its navy in the future, including the modernized software many class, TAF 052C or even TAF 052D. After that noisy debut, the CX-1 was almost forgotten and disappeared quietly. There is no information that it has been completed to put into combat. The ships that are expected to be equipped with CX-1 are also armed with other weapons. That is, YJ-12A for Shop Romani, YJ-62 equipped for the TAF 052C and TAF 052D has successfully tested YJ-18, a copy of the 3M54E caliber. This had led military analysts to conclude that China has used its famous diversionary tactic, intentionally bringing to the show a bogus weapon. It is mainly intended to confuse its biggest rival in the Asia-Pacific, India, and make India's allies suspicious, leading to delay even cancellation of the intention to buy Brahmos missiles. In fact, after that event for quite a long time, India missed many Brahmos missile export contracts for very mysterious reasons. Customers suddenly showed a lack of interest, even though they were eager to buy. My video about the Chinese CX-1 missile answer. Thank you for watching.
you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.